Welcome to the TrueSpeed SXB Quick Start Guide using the QuickMap 3D application running on Android operating system. Make sure your Android device is running on Android 4.1 or later. Typically, you can find out what version of OS or operating system you are using in your system settings. Our first step is to install the QuickMap 3D application onto your Android device. In order to do that, we need to turn on your Wireless Local Area Network, or WLAN. To begin, navigate to your Settings menu and locate the Display icon. Set the Sleep option to Never or a Long Duration. We don't want the screen going dark while you're mapping a scene. Next, select WLAN as your wireless network and select the wireless network you want to connect to. At this point in time, you may also want to set up an email account to send QuickMap 3D reports. Now we're ready to install QuickMap 3D. Open up Google Play on your Android tablet or phone. Search for LaserSoft QuickMap and tap to select it from the results. Tap Install and enter your Play Store password if necessary. If you do not already have a Google Play account, you will be prompted to create one. It only requires an email address and password. When you open the Quick Map app for the first time, a short video will play, and then a screen will appear requesting a license key to confirm proof of purchase. Tap and hold on the machine ID to copy the ID number or notate the machine ID. You will need this ID number to get your license key. Tap the License Manager website link. You should have received a temporary password from licensing at lasertechpartners.com via email. Enter your email address and temporary password. Enter your machine ID. If you copied it to the clipboard, simply tap and hold to paste it into the machine ID entry field. Next, copy the purchase ID from the purchase table above. Tap and hold the Purchase ID in the Purchases table and select the Copy option. In order to paste the Purchase ID, tap and hold the Purchase ID field and select the Paste option. Click Submit and your license key will display below the entry fields as well as in the Purchases table above. Copy or jot down your license key and return to QuickMap. Paste or type the key into the Enter License Key field and tap Start. First, we need to turn on the Bluetooth link on the TrueSpeed SXB. Begin by pressing the Mode button and cycle options until you locate BT. Press the down arrow until ENCD appears and then press Fire to confirm selection to toggle on the Bluetooth link. To sync the tablet's Bluetooth link with TrueSpeed SXB, navigate to your Settings icon and turn on the Bluetooth link. Under the Available Devices tab on your tablet, you will select the laser model or serial number, in this case, the TrueSpeed SXB. You will be prompted to enter PIN number 6912 or accept any passkey. Tap Connect before exiting to the main menu. The tablet will establish the connection and then list the TrueSpeed SXB as connected. You have successfully connected your TrueSpeed SXB to your tablet over Bluetooth. Next, let's turn on Electronic Filter and Survey Mode. First, make sure you are in Speed Mode and begin by pressing the Mode button until Off Filter appears in the display. Press the Fire button to turn on the Electronic Filter and the arrow button to confirm selection. Now, press the Mode button to toggle on Survey Mode with the Electronic Filter active. Apply the Mechanical Filter to the front lens of the TrueSpeed SXB before continuing. When setting up your first shot with the TrueSpeed SXB, make sure to first power on all components. Now tap the Quick Map 3D icon on your home screen to launch the program. Once you are on the Quick Map 3D main screen, choose to start a new survey. Enter a survey file name and then tap the drop down arrow to the right of Device to choose TrueSpeed SXB with TrueAngle from the list of devices. 
The method needed will be radial with angle. Select the units that match what is set on the laser. Note, if you're measuring in 3D, enter in the instrument height. If you would like the data collected to be stored in 3D, check the box. Otherwise, it will be automatically stored in 2D. Now, enter the height of the retro reflector target, or if measuring directly to the feature, leave the target height at zero. Simply tap Next to move to the Set Origin screen, where you will set the origin, or instrument position, for your scene. Regarding the XYZ coordinates for instrument position, there are two options. You can choose to keep the default values of 0.00, .00 which is typical, or if you know the coordinates for your instrument position, you have the option of entering them. The laser connection icon at the top of the data collection screen will turn green or yellow depending on the current battery level in your laser, indicating the laser and quick map are communicating. You will need to make sure and calibrate your true angle by rotating 360 degrees until IND becomes flashing zeros. Now, aim your laser at your reference point and tighten the true angle brake. Press the fire button on the TrueSpeed SXB to zero the true angle. The zeros on the display will stop flashing. Now, add the zero reference as a point in the survey by pressing fire again. Remember to loosen the true angle break before taking the next shot. Enter ref for a description before tapping submit to finish adding the point to your survey. Continue mapping the rest of the points in your scene. It is important to note you may lose connection with your laser. This will be indicated by the laser connection icon in the top right corner of the quick map 3D screen. Simply tap the icon to refresh. Once reconnected, the laser connection indicator icon will display your battery level. Thanks for watching this quick start guide on using the TrueSpeed SXB with QuickMap on Android. To learn more about laser technology products and solutions, please visit us at lasertech.com.